Hi folks, I'm back and uh, I'm also just back from a little walking holiday in the Isle of Mull. I was only away for three days but I had a little bit of an incident uh, on the way back and uh, after finally getting the A2 all sorted out um, I had uh, a deer run out in front of me and it's caused this damage. It had me square on right on here and uh, it's bent the whole bonnet, pushed it all back and it's absolutely jammed in here and this light has been pushed out a wee bit but this one has been really pushed out but it looks so the wings are okay um, the headlamps are okay, I'm hoping they're not uh, broken in here and I haven't actually removed the bonnet yet because this is really tight and I thought if I'm... If I, and it still runs okay which is uh, good because the radiator's just right in here um, and I was worried that that was going to be burst but I'm going to try and take it off now and see what damage there is to the cross member over here because obviously the the little push in and turn locators for the bonnet are in there so they've probably been moved back. This one looks not too bad but the, I'm hoping the cross member's not bent in any way but we'll have a look. So the little lever in here is uh, jammed so I'm going to have to get a screw screwdriver in to prise it open. So I hope you weren't traumatised by the footage. The deer actually uh, it kind of rolled off the front of the car and I saw it spinning in mid-air and then I sort of looked in my mirror and then it just got up and ran off. <laughs> so it must have been okay but look at the damage it's caused my, on my bonnet. But I'll see if I can get this open. Well that is amazing because the only thing I can see wrong is that this headlamp has been broken on the top. Oh, it's a bit come out the side. So the bracket in the top's broken, the bracket in the bottom's broken, so that's a new headlamp. This panel seems okay. The oil dipstick's been pushed back. Uh, this radiator here has been bent but it's still intact. And this panel here has been bent slightly. So I think I'll be able to to uh, replace that. Should be able to get one of these as well and the hose has come off the oil so it's leaking quite a bit down in there but this headlamp seems okay. Although it's popped out here I'm gonna to have to find out how that's been pushed over. I might just release that and hopefully it'll pop back but I cannot see anything else. So the bonnet has been done the job, it's been forced back here and just held on these which are really sturdy uh, and just folded itself back. Uh, that was like that anyway. Uh, and this pipe was off here for the oil filler. Uh, oh sorry the oil dipstick. So there's a wee bit of oil down in there. But other than that, it doesn't seem too bad. The bonnet's had it though. I mean it's all buckled there and bent. So it looks like it's been banged down on the top and on this bit in here as well. But even that has popped out, you know, so, so I'll probably end up just uh, not going through insurance and just repairing this myself. So it's just typical that that should happen, you know, when I get the car all sorted, looking great. You know, my, my sister always reckoned I was the unluckiest guy in the world. I've had two deer hit me before, I've had sheep run into sheep and I've run into another deer. You know, I'm doing breakdowns and people running into me, so it's just another one to add to the list. But uh, as I said, I think I'm going to, um, I'm just going to repair it myself. I don't think it's worth going through insurance. To, to be honest, they'd probably write this uh, little car off and my ex excess is so high, it's uh, it's hardly worth it. And it, it was a great little car and it ran really well over the, over the three days I was away and I was really pleased. Um, so keep watching, <laughs> you'll see me uh, repairing the bonnet and the headlamp and uh, that front cross member but at least in the meantime I can drive it. Oh and one other thing, on the way up 
Um, the roads are quite rough in parts, but uh, this tyre went flat and fortunately it's uh, quite a tough tyre and I was able to drive it to a, a petrol station and um, I could hear it coming out the, the rim so I had to jack it up and of course I had no tools with me and the the lock and wheel nut I could take off but I couldn't get the Audi wheel spanner into these bolts because these are too tight couldn't believe it so I managed to get uh, uh, one of these um, cans with the compressed air with the sludge in it and once I jacked it up and took the pressure off the bottom of the the, the tyre um, I put this thing on and it blew it up and it's been fine ever since so I can recommend these sort of things <laughs> um, I've never used one before but uh, but now I have and I uh, can definitely say that they work.